welcome back to another video. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a while, and I know I've been saying this a lot this year, but I've been really overwhelmed, and I got a lot of things to share with you guys. But before we get into that, let's make some breakfast. And I'm gonna have a smoothie for breakfast because it's getting a little bit warmer here. I'm gonna make my smoothie because it's so good. It's very, very good. I can't believe what just happened. I recorded the whole thing. The smoothie is right here, but the camera wasn't working. So that's just great. I'm just gonna make it again for you guys. There's not enough bananas here anymore, but it's okay because I'm such a great chef. Everything's gonna be fine, right? I'm mad. I am mad. Okay, we need to make some adjustment here. Now we're gonna use just 100 grams of banana. That's so sad. I normally have like almost double. It's okay, I'm gonna use more mango. I'm gonna use like all of it, all of it. That's around 180 grams of mango. <laughs> some raspberries because I need to add some volume to my smoothie now that I fucked up the first one. And here's the main ingredient, pitaya, which is dragon fruit. Very nice. I'm gonna add about 100 grams of almond milk. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got protein powder. We're gonna add a little bit, about 15 grams. And now we are gonna blend it. I thought Vitamix is supposed to be super amazing, but I struggle. Struggle a lot. We're gonna pop this in a bowl. It's really thick. So mango and bananas create pretty thick consistency, which is why they're so great for like thick ass smoothie. Almost like a gelato texture. Very creamy, but without milk. Now we're gonna pop some bananas on top. Some bananas. Gosh, this looks so messy. Some blueberries. Lots of blueberries. And some granola. That's too much. Oh well. And that's it. It looks pretty good. Let's eat. So I've been working really hard. I finished planning my January program and almost finished filming. And it's only October. Is it October? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's thick like gelato. Oh we're also gonna have a brand new experience on the website so we're working on that and that should be releasing in January as well so that's very exciting we're gonna bring the community closer together so you're gonna be able to work out with a group of friends or people you know on Discord or all of that am I revealing too much? I reckon it's gonna be quite fun um, so that's gonna be coming up in January hopefully and I also have other things I wanna share which I'm gonna share with you guys later I'm actually not sure whether I can share it with you guys so I'm gonna film it and if you don't see it it means that I wasn't allowed to share it with you guys but i'm gonna film it first anyway mm, mm, mm. this is so good and i love such a inchy protein powder because it tastes a little bit nutty like peanut buttery or almond buttery i don't know it's, it just tastes so good and it's not grainy at all so it's a really good quality really nutritious protein powder i like it a lot more than hemp protein powder rice protein powder or pea protein i don't like those very much but it's also a lot more expensive so that's that's the problem i guess but it's really tasty so anyway i might share the new website soon but I'm gonna share it on discord and get some feedback from you guys hopefully get some of the new improvements in so you guys can have a better experience on the website let's hope that it works out I hope this is recording <clears throat> I don't know why this happens to my freaking camera but this was not the first time that was just not working mm -mm. Mm. Should I talk about how nutritious this is? Okay, there's protein in it. There's pitaya, which is really high in antioxidants. There's blueberries. There's some seeds. They're very good for you. Yeah. Mm. Oh. This little dry apricot almost broke my teeth. It's solid. It's like a stone. All right, next we're gonna make some sushi burger. So the last time I had this was when I was in Korea or Japan. I can't remember. There's this fast food chain called Moss Burger. So they serve like really interesting burgers. They're a little bit different from regular burgers that you get from like say Macca's or Hungry Jack's, Burger King. They also have this interesting burger, rice burger. So instead of using bread as their buns, they use rice. So I've shaped my rice into like little patties right here. I'm gonna fry on the pan to make it crispy so that it holds its shape and i also have some salmon sashimi here and kingfish Bruh. 
just gonna slice them up and then we are gonna make our burger. <laughs> very excited, very excited. I'm gonna cut them into like thin slices because I want it to be easy to eat. Because if it's thick, it's gonna be hard for me to chew and then the burger is just gonna fall apart and that's just not what I want right now. And also guys, also, also, oh my god, oh my god. Forgot to talk about this. So my merch. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> it took a lot longer than expected for my pre-order to arrive. But I think as of right now, while I'm recording, this video is finally in the US warehouse. We're gonna ship them out this week. So some of the sizes are out of stock right now, but we're gonna restock some of these. So make sure you get my merch. It's really kawaii. Yeah, just get them. Please. Okay, I'm gonna slice up the rest of the fish, but I'm just gonna use my hand because it was really hard using the gloves. Then I'm gonna cut some thick ass pieces because you know, I don't think they're all gonna fit into my burger. And I'm just gonna eat it as it is with some soy sauce and wasabi. So do you guys like your fish cut like thick or thin? I like my salmon sashimi to be quite thick. I think it's a lot tastier when it's thick. And we got some kingfish. Oh my god, I almost fell off. Yeah, kingfish. I really, really, really like kingfish. It's probably my favorite or my second favorite. It's either salmon or kingfish. I don't really like tuna. So based on what I know, salmon has less mercury. Ooh, okay. This is dangerous, you guys. <laughs> Okay, my fishy is ready. I'm gonna pop them back in the fridge. Fishy is only nice when it's cold. Cold fishy. There's a lot of fish. Okay, now I'm gonna fry some rice. I have some avocado oil in here. Just gonna heat this up. See, my rice is like a little patty right now. I'm just gonna pop it here and then squish it down into a square. We're gonna make square burgers, not round burgers. This is a lot harder than I thought. I made this once. It was not easy to make. You need two spoons to shape it. Can you guys even see what I'm doing here? Sometimes I don't know why I'm recording the process of me cooking stuff because you guys can't even see it. I'm not even setting up my camera properly. No, it's falling apart. I'm gonna use my finger. This is dangerous, but I think it's gonna work better. I promise you guys, ah, I'm being safe. Oh, this is sticking. I'm not happy about this. I will use my hand. I just have to be extra careful. So this is how it looks like right now. It's gonna turn brown and crispy and then we'll assemble them together. Now that we got our rice patties ready, look. It's firm, it's fried, it's crispy. You can hear that, right? Okay, so we're gonna start with some salmon. Next. Okay, we're gonna put some capsicum. Or if you have tomatoes, use tomatoes. I just don't have it at home. Okay, I think that's enough. Next, we're gonna put some lettuce. <laughs> I'm just winging this right now. I wanna make sure it looks decent, you know. Lettuce, oh, that looks pretty good. Should we put some cheese? Let's pop a little bit of cheese. Oh, oh no, this is breaking apart. This is vegan cheese. <laughs> vegan cheese is not happy. Okay, okay, it looks fine. Oh, the cheese is actually really good. Now let's put some seaweed. Okay, my burger is a bit over the top. Oh my god, it's falling apart, you guys. This is not doing well. Okay, I'm gonna put a bit more salmon. Just a bit more. Then some kingfish on top. And then I'm gonna pop my thingy on top. There, that's my rice burger. It looks pretty good, look. Damn. Let's put some teriyaki sauce. I forgot about my teriyaki sauce. You can use some soy sauce and wasabi, but I wanna use teriyaki today. Let me make the second one, okay? Ta-da, the second one looks a lot better. Okay, that looks really good. Now I'm gonna just fold my seed into half, break it apart, and just pop it over the burger, like so. Okay, this is hard to eat. Oh, oh, oh. Mmm. Okay, let me show you. Mm? So it won't fall apart, we'll just fall into this you know, seaweed. Oh. Mmm. You guys, this is so good. Well, it's too big for my mouth though. Like, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? The cheese is actually so good. Oh, ishi! This is really all ishi. You gotta try it out. I wouldn't make this for lunch, but for the sake of this video, I made it for lunch because it's good lighting right now. But normally, I'll just make this for dinner because it's a lot of effort. This is incredible. This is amazing. 11 out of 10. It's so good. Look at this mochi. I'm gonna have this and then I'll show you guys my new stuff. Mmm. So these are my new weights. 
coming out in January. These are the cutest color dumbbells I've ever seen in my life. So I'm so excited. This is a blue tone, 15 pounds dumbbell, purple 10 pounds dumbbell, peach nude, 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 5 pounds dumbbell. Glow eating, 10 pounds, glow 15 pounds. So it's not just dumbbells that I'm working on. There's a full range of products, but here's just a sneak peek of these three. I got ankle weights here and a set of sliding core discs. Very, very kawaii too. And you just gotta wait till January to see everything else. I think that these are the cutest dumbbells, like the most kawaii dumbbells ever. I love the color and I love the ankle weights color and just the whole thing. I really, really like them. I think they are so kawaii. There's ne. Oh, I can't see my face. Oh, wait. Wait, oh, hi. <laughs> okay, here's dinner. Look. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so proud of myself today. I've made really, really delicious stuff. So I'm really, really proud and happy. I even made my own hamburger sauce. I mean, it's not really hard to make. It's just Japanese Uchesa sauce and tomato sauce and some sweetener. That's it. That's the sauce. The sauce for my hamburger. So this is the Japanese hamburger steak dish. They normally serve it with rice and a bit of potato, I think. But I only got rice and some vegetables. It's gonna be really, 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 really good because I tasted the sauce. It's very good. Okay, let's just dig in burger mm, 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 this sauce is so good it's really interesting how they eat burger with rice <laughs> but it's always so good mm. oh i know why it's salty because i'm not using japanese hamburger i got some from the deli and it's um really seasoned it's really really salty <laughs> i'm very very satisfied i just want to put it out there that i did not have all the burgers for lunch i had one sushi burger because i i honestly thought i could finish two burgers but i could not i was really really full after one burger so i stopped there yeah just want to put it out there because you know people like to say stuff about me so i just want to make it clear before someone could say anything about me and i'm gonna end the video right here because i'm very very tired i've been cooking all day which is very unusual i cook every day but i normally make my lunch a little bit simpler but today i really want to show you guys some cool recipes so i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipes they are different and interesting i think i think they're very interesting i've made a sushi burger before but it was <laughs> it was a struggle the first time i made it um i've not made the hamburger steak before but i used to have it in japan all the time i really really like them i hope you guys enjoyed today's video Give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below don't forget to check out my merch buy my merch right now they're all gonna be restocked very soon or as you watch this video so check it out buy my merch okay <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye Jana.